wonder how quickly that went wrong. I think Denise is just sitting there thinking, you guys keep battling now, I'll keep my nose dry yep. for the time. Now, what you've got to do is you've either got to stay in the lead with just that little bit of breathing space and keep the hammer down, or just sit within yeah, Denise then. At the moment, probably a bit of a tactical move to just sit there in for net. Yeah, we saw then a long lap penalty due to exceeding track limits for Vatican Sukum, one of our tie riders joining us this full experience for the number 25 to be out there, but a shame we'll have to do a long lap as well. This lead is changing. Can't see from my position is the apex of the final corner. But uh, yeah, no drama at the moment in this front group. They seem to have calmed down. Azama's got trouble here. Then he did pull a gap out a couple of laps ago. Um, but Nicholas has four laps to go, so it's three and the remainder of this lap. I think we're going to be okay. But yeah, for sure you can feel it. Both Mie and Carter Thompson then out onto the green, and Denise now in second place as we head into the lap. And good Mie in two corners has gone from third into first. So fantastic stuff there from Gun Mie. He has taken down at turn and nine. And I think as well with a lot more experience, and he's had really great speed. He's well out of position because they're now quite a way behind so it's like well is this the time to throw caution to the wind and every weekend go out there and try and take those wins like he's going to be shuffled back into fourth position we have Veda Egapatama back in the race lead once again as well the number seven podiums this year Fran and he is a title contender this year he's behind Azara and Denise in the overall standings and in the closing stages so he's one to look out for especially in race two as well yeah most definitely is and uh, maybe just a little less track knowledge that's just hurting his charge this weekend uh, but yeah we'll we'll see what he can do on Sunday as well affecting track conditions too much of course it is much much warmer in Thailand it's not Yorkshire so <laughs> hopefully a few drops won't have too much so just over a lap to one. go then and it uh, looks like we've got a few spots out there just to complicate life a little bit for these Anish made that move out the final corner that's literally the way that this track is designed to create that epic we would have to nail that exit to get to the line for I think they've been watching the 2019 Moto GP race between Mark Marquez and Fabio Quattararo. There, as you can see on screen, um, the same colour as when we uh, saw lights out and got underway. Veda Ega Pratama then, ah, then didn't lose out too much to Pratama either, but Denise is far from done. The number 13 then, he's going to attack again. Three abreast, almost four abreast. Denise looking for two for one. Oh, that was too close for comfort yep, there. Yeah, everyone hold drama and close calls. It's still Pratama in that lead. Denise still looking for a way oh, past wide. and he is a little wide at turn 10 yes he is want to move then from hacking denise he's going to come down to the final for it. is he going to make it stick pratama then always oh, out onto the green denise. It's our, it is not not quite then marianas nicholas just beats the number 20 Mie bails out a little bit thinks no i can just control this a bit better yeah pratama all the way out or something, something like that, like that. yeah it's, it's a it's a wall of noise on race really day it's great. <laughs> it really is a wall of noise. And hopefully Here in the background, the track announcer. Congratulations. Another race win for Hakeem Danish. And we were there for... race one here at Brewer and we have Hakeem Danish coming out on top by just 0.046 from Veda Egger.